everyone. I was not going to make a video today. Um, I actually was planning on doing some independent projects because as many of you know, I am a teacher and back to school season is upon us. However, it is back to school season with a little, you know, pandemic twist, we'll say. So in order to appropriately prepare for that, my school system has sent out a ton of recommendations and regulations for the way that things have to be when school starts, including wearing masks, uh, bringing our own personal water bottles with our names on them, and all that jazz. So I just thought I would walk you through how I'm going to be customizing some things to be a little bit more school spirited. Specifically at my school, you can't buy any school merchandise right now. And I actually only have maybe two school themed shirts and we do have um, jeans days, like casual days on Fridays, um, but we have to wear our school colors, so I thought it might be in my best interest to make myself another shirt. So without further ado, let's get started with the first one, which is actually going to be a face mask. My school's colors are blue and gold, and I think uh, navy is a nice um, option specifically because I had some navy scrap fabric so I've traced out a pattern that I found online very very simple um, and I wanted it to be this navy color as well because it will actually match the jersey that I have very very nicely so I will be able to have a little spirited set. I did already leave um, a little bit of seam allowance. Alrighty I have the center line sewed so it can flip around and cover the front of my face in this manner. I will be pressing the seam flat. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up the edges like this and go around just the top and the bottom. All right, we've got our edges all stitched up, top and bottom. Now we just need these end bits here. And what I'm planning to do is I'm going to set this in here just so I can get an idea of where it's supposed to go. And I'm gonna fold over to make the case and iron this down so that I have a good idea of where uh, I need to do the stitching right up against the edge here. And it looks like about a finger's width in so I can do the same thing on the other side. And then I will show you how I'm attaching the elastic. All right, casing is completely sewed on both sides. Now, for relatively stiff elastic, I'm hoping I can just slip it through since it's a really small opening. Now I'm going to put this on and measure out how long I need the elastic to go and I'm just gonna tie it. That way I can just slip the knotted part right back here and you will never ever see it. When I tighten it, it will contort to my face this way as opposed to having it stitched down. Um, then it might like be hanging off weird or fold up funny. This one actually will just suck itself right up, which is really great. This is about as much as I needed on either side because it is rather long. It does not require a lot of elastic, which is great because now I'll have plenty left over to make more masks. And I'm just gonna cut off my extra bits and bobs here. I made sure that this was super, super tight. It is not going anywhere. I'm pretty sure I got this like giant thing of elastic, which I've, I've used up a lot of because of face masks, of course. But um, I wanna say that I got all this, like probably several uh, feet of elastic for only a couple dollars at Walmart at one point. So, yep, and I'm just twisting it inside. So now the knot is hidden away. You cannot see it. One more time. Now comes the fun part and that is the decorating. And I think I'm gonna go really, really simple here. And I think I'm just going to uh, get a design uh, similar to the school's uh, logo and probably pop it on one side. Um, or maybe even just put, you know, a W for the Wildcats, which is what we are, or just embroider Wildcats, whatever it may be. I haven't totally decided yet. I will come back to this once I have decided or once I find a good pattern. So for now, we're gonna leave this and we are gonna move on to the jersey. Here is the jersey. It's a nice, flexible, but breathable fabric, which is really great. And it matches the mask rather nicely, so that's a bonus for me. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is I am going to put 
probably Wildcats right here. I do know for sure that I want to do is I'm going to be using some iron-on uh, heat transfer vinyl and I'm going to be putting my last name across the back. Uh, that way I am identifiable as a staff member because I very often get mistaken for a student. I have lay unbuttoned it and splayed it out so that it's as flat as possible. That way the iron-on will adhere. I cut out my letters on the Cricut and followed the directions on the heat transfer vinyl that I purchased, which included mirroring it and making sure to cut it shiny side face down. And now, I can center it wherever I need on my shirt. And it's said to go over it with an iron for about 10 to 15 seconds and putting, oh, 12 to 15 seconds and putting 10 pounds of pressure on it. So I'm going to do that and we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, moment of truth. Time to peel. It's a little warm to the touch still, but let's do this. Yes! Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! Now that I'm so excited, I think I'm actually going to use this stuff to do the face mask too because I think it's a nice... This is a nice gold, actually. Okie doke, we're now on to our last thing and that is my water bottle. This is my absolute 100% favorite water bottle in the world. I got this from David's Tea. It is just the perfect color and the best part about it is that the bottom part unscrews so you can clean it really, really well. So what I've done is I went back to the Cricut and I printed off a little label with a little apple on it that I'm going to put on my water bottle. This is my first time using non-heat transfer vinyl. It's just regular vinyl. Um, so basically all you're going to have to do is once you get it all cut, I got to remove this backing, all this extra stuff around it, which you kind of saw me doing with the others, and then weed out all the little bits inside, um, which should mostly just be the Q, I think, and the inside of the S. The rest of them I think should stay relatively okay. So I am going to get to work. Okay, the last couple uh, minutes, maybe half hour or so, has yielded a handful of uh, negative results, let's just say that. Um, long story short, I had to go through about four different fonts before I finally found one that actually separated easy enough. I guess the scripts I were using were just too tiny or whatever, and uh, no matter what I did, it just wasn't quite working out until I finally just gave in and decided to go for a block font. I finally got everything weeded and ready to go and I have this transfer tape which is what I will be using to transfer the design as is from the paper to the bottle. So I'll peel the transfer tape up. I'm actually starting to lose light and I'm a little frustrated about it. Okay well stick right down why don't you? Okay. And you'll just scrape it to make sure all the pieces parts are adhered to the tape. I do still have the apple, but I didn't feel the need to reprint it because I had functional ones. So, I have this. Now all I have to do is take my bottle, lay it down, and attach my text. now I have a customized and labeled water bottle. I will be the first to admit that parts of my projects today were very frustrating, but on the bright side, I did actually learn a lot. I learned how to properly use regular vinyl as opposed to heat transfer vinyl. Frankly, I learned how to use heat transfer vinyl uh, appropriately because the last set of directions I had made it seem way more complicated than it had to be. Um, I got some really cool designs done, some great school spirit stuff. Um, 
and I don't know, I just, I feel pretty good about everything I've done today, and I know that this is one, wasn't a traditional type tutorial, that's why it's probably going to end up being a bonus video, but I feel ready for back to school, and I'm hoping that I've inspired some of you to maybe get a little bit crafty and get some customizable things before the school year starts for yourself. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and sometimes I do upload bonus videos on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, so if any of this interests you, don't forget to subscribe, and hopefully I will be seeing you on Sunday for another video. Bye!